And thank you for joining us at 11 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. A UNLV student still reeling from a terrifying encounter. She says a man broke into her dorm room. Happened in the middle of the night. Nearly a week later, UNLV says it is making changes to make sure that students are safe. Victoria Saha joins us live on campus tonight with a story you will only see on 8 News Now. A quiet night on campus turned into something you could only imagine seeing in a movie. Coming face to face with an intruder is something Eliza Miller never thought would happen, all while sleeping inside her dorm room. UNLV senior Eliza Miller now uses a towel as an extra layer of protection around her windows. She's not taking any chances after going through a terrifying ordeal. I was deep asleep, yeah. so I open my eyes and then I see, like, I feel the breeze of cold air, like, on my face. And I have glass shards all over my hair, my face. A man had broken into her dorm window using two huge rocks. Miller had no time to do anything but run. When I saw him step onto my bed, that's when, like, I went out. The intruder tried getting into other rooms and was eventually arrested on the roof. Nearly a week later, Miller feels more needs to be done for student safety on campus. I'd rather have it looking like a prison than risk our safety. Since the break in, UNLV says they are in the process of replacing all first floor dormitory windows with shatter resistant materials. The assistant director of residential life sent out this email to students living in Miller's building, saying there was no theft or any harm done to. To a student. I was like three to four inches away of almost like dying or even, you know, like having my face completely smashed in. Miller says she is still waiting on an apology from residential life. UNLV responded with a statement saying counseling is available for students impacted, adding that housing staff will get additional security training this summer. There were surveillance cameras right by the window where this incident happened. I did ask campus police, police excuse me, if those cameras were active during that time. I have yet to hear back from them. As for Miller, she says last night was her first time sleeping back in her dorm room, and it was a rough night. She was having nightmares. Reporting from the UNLV campus tonight, Victoria Saha, live, local, now.